he's a swain, isn't he? A swain. Oh, he is. <laughs> he really oh, he is. is. He's a very How good villain. How did I ever get mixed <laughs> know, up in all that? I know. That. It's such a shame. <laughs> it really is. But it's been a, it's been a really interesting, good storyline for you to do. Oh, it's been fantastic. Yeah. It's been absolutely. As soon, I think as soon as Andy made the decision to sort of. Um, Get revenge on feeling. Yeah, he's opened up a sort of a I whole know. world of a world of a world of pain, pain, but also a world of great drama as well. I know, which is, which is it's great. Been, of, it's been of, great of for me. Course. I've been absolutely loving it. It know, really has. Just, it really yeah. has. Because your character, it's an interesting one, isn't it? Because I think the last time you spoke, you were just going into the the, the streets a couple of years ago. Now. Yeah, two years ago now. Yeah, but it's going by really fast. It really has it's flown. Going by it really so has so flown. quickly. Yeah. So you weren't quite sure what you were in for, but you were going as. Les Dennis's character, Michael, as his pretending to be his son. Yeah. yeah. So I was pretending to be Gavin. Um, and then I was I was Gandhi for a while, and then I became became Andy. But that, that was a really Gandhi. interesting... It was Gandhi, yeah. <laughs> it was Gandhi. I really took off and that, it was Andy. Yeah. I know, I remember saw that on Twitter. It was really, really funny. But, and you two obviously got on really well. You know, you could tell that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. I mean, he's... What a man! What a man, Les Dennis, eh? I know. And you worked together, didn't you? You just met. You just played together. Yeah. Well, it, uh, Corey were really generous and gave us both time off um, earlier this year to do um, an Alan Bleasdale play in Liverpool called Down the Dock Road. Oh, I love so, that play. So, yeah. yeah, we were we were seventies dockers for a little while, oh, and then back to the street. Do you know what? It's good though to have that sort of break. I think. You know, to do that and then, because it's kind of, re you know, it renews your energy, I guess, yeah, to go back into yeah. Corey. Yeah, and it, it was really nice to do a theatre job and know you had a TV job to go to. The, that's See, quite, that's the thing quite about a rare acting, situation isn't it? To be in. That yeah, is yeah, the yeah. thing, because you never quite know what's around the corner. Yeah. Lots of rumours going around that you might be leaving, you might be staying. We don't know, do we? I couldn't, you I can't couldn't possibly anything. say. I couldn't possibly can't say. say there's, there's a lot more... Um, Drama to come, though. That with, is with Phelan, as you've just seen there. Um, you know, he he's he, Phelan's kind of using Andy as his puppet now to, to kind of exact the revenge that he wants on Kevin. Yeah. So you've just seen the bit about the pickup truck, and then there's the fire in the garage, which has been. It's it's out there that it happens, but we don't We've know yet. We've seen some pictures of that. We've yeah. seen some pictures of of what's happening. There we are. We can see that. So something happens. We know. In the garage, we know that. Yeah. Oh, and there's there's the police. Oh, and okay. Steph's got no idea. I know. She thinks he's really nice. Exactly. This is the weird exactly. thing. And that's why he's such a brilliant, brilliant villain because he has depth. He has charm. At times, I almost feel sorry. I watch and I feel sorry for him. I know. I know. And, yeah, I, but I think I think now for Andy, it's the fact that he's embroiled Steph in all of this. Yeah. That he feels that he has no choice other than to, to carry out. Mm. Feelings, and he's got to do the dastardly plan. Wishes. See, this mm. is the thing about somebody who's so, so horrible and using somebody else. You know, it's really, really nasty. Oh, it's arch, arch manipulator. Oh. But we love, we love to hate. Him. I know that's the thing. And What's the best thing about being in Corey? Would you say? I think the best thing is working with the people that we get to work with, yeah. um, and that's right, right across the board from the writers, the AD team. All, all the cast. Sure. It is, it, it's a cliche and it's been said time and time again, but it really is a family there. Just because it's a cliche doesn't mean it's not true. Exactly. You know, and and that's true, actually, true. with it's, you guys. It's, yeah. such, it's such a place to work. Mm. It never feels like work when you're going in on a rainy Manchester day at kind of <laughs> quarter to seven in the morning. <laughs> <laughs> Somehow you all just get each other that's through. It. That's you it. do, you really do. Yeah. I hope you're not going. I'm looking at you and you're not giving anything away I'll at all. You. Poker face. Nothing Poker has been face. given away. But I should be watching Double Curry tonight, of course. Of course. I love yep. Monday Gotta nights. Back in time for that. Absolutely. Great to see you, my love. You too. Good Thank luck you so with much. everything, and we shall be riveted to our screens. Thank you well. very much indeed. If you'd like to see even more great guests, then click here. There are plenty more fantastic interviews to come, so make sure that you subscribe.